How scary it is here! I don't like injections from doctors and hospitals. I would rather be cured, and I would leave here. I wonder which doctor I'll get. It's my first time in the hospital, and I've never been here. And I feel uncomfortable just being here. So, come in next. Let's see what question you came to me with. Now we will solve your health problems. So, I see you have a lot of problems. First, you need to undergo a full examination. Secondly, a diagnosis. You also need to go through all the doctors. Now we're going to give you a shot. Not sick at all. How did you get your health started like that? You need to come not only after the summer holidays before school, but also once a month. I stopped walking altogether. We have a checkup before the start of school. We were told to be examined by you. I am actually very afraid of such offices and doctors. Will the injection be very painful? Or not? I'm worried. I'm afraid of injections, but I have to do it. The injection will be sick, but you need to somehow say that it will not be sick at all. I don't even know how to tell her about it, because it's a pity. Eh, I'll tell you how it is, okay? Listen, the injection will be a little sick, but not much. The main thing is not to worry. Everything will go well, I promise you. Oh, I'm fat. How is that? I always watch my weight. I eat right. I don't understand why the scales show such numbers. This just can't be. Are you sure the scales are working well and properly? And now, listen carefully. You need to look at your throat. Open your mouth and say loudly and lingeringly, Ah. You're doing a great job, but you cannot be so loud and strong. Let's be quiet and not so much, please. Hmm. This is not good. It seems to me that you are ill. You have a high fever. We need urgent treatment. Uh, what are you? I feel great. I don't think I have a fever. I feel perfect. I'm cheerful and cheerful. Let's try another thermometer. I think this one is wrong because I feel very good. The thermometer can't be wrong and health is the main thing. Could you turn to me? We need to inspect everything completely and the temperature is on your face. So let's start treatment right now. I don't understand. I feel great. Why should I be treated? From what? Tell me, please. I've checked everything, and you really have a little fever. You will need to drink one very tasty medicine, and then you will have an injection. The main thing is not to worry. This medicine is very good and will definitely be able to help you. It is very high quality and delicious. <laughs> I don't want to drink the medicine and I don't want to get an injection. Can we do without it? I really feel great and nothing bothers me. It may not be quite so tasty, but it will definitely help you. So don't wince, but drink it. This is a very good medicine. Oh, it's not very tasty. It tastes just disgusting. You deceived me by saying that it is very tasty. Can I stop drinking this medicine? There is a better medicine, but it is very difficult to get it. Of course I can help you with this, but it will be very difficult. I promise I won't tell anyone. But let's just have a delicious medicine. After this medicine, I didn't feel good at all. It's very bitter. But just don't make me drink it again. I can't stand it a second time. 
Well, if you say so, then good. If you have decided everything for sure, then I will need your help. The medicine comes in a complicated way, and I can't handle it alone. You don't want to drink that medicine again, do you? Do you need my help? And how will I need to help you? What will I need to do? I'm a little confused about what I'm going to have to do. If I don't have to drink that nasty and not tasty medicine again, then of course I will help. Then the medicine is very much not tasty. I don't want to try it anymore. This medicine will definitely be normal. Aren't you kidding me? Am I doing everything right? And why do I need to do this? Is this the only way to make this medicine? I hope it won't be like the old one. I still remember its taste. Yes, you're doing everything right. I promise this medicine will be much tastier than the past. Okay, you're completely healthy. You can go now. You remember that the prescription of that medicine is very secret and you can't tell anyone about it. It will be our little secret. After all, she still thinks that I'm naive. I don't tell secrets to anyone. I always keep them a secret. You can rely on me. <sighs> Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. You can really rely on me. This will remain just between us. The main thing is that I'm cured and I don't have a fever anymore. Now run and don't hurt anymore. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Oh, before I forget, tell the next two to come into my office. They need to be examined. Oh, Lazy, your hair is so amazing. It's so, so beautiful and silky. It shines so much. I, I'm so jealous of you. Do you know how I managed to keep my hair in such great condition, Envy? It's all because I don't use shampoo. Instead, I use special blue soap. I'll never have hair as beautiful as that. So I'll have to borrow some from my best friend, Lazy. Ha ha ha. Hey, Disgust, I'm so glad to see you. Please rate my new hairstyle. I tried so hard. Do you, do you like it? Hmm, it looks absolutely stunning, however. Um, where did you manage to get this wonderful wig? Oh, come on, Envy. Do you have any idea how long it took me to grow these? Now, now I'll have to wear a wig. Oh, it's great to finally meet you, New Emotions. Welcome to our headquarters. I'm Sadness, and she's Joy, and she's in charge here. So be on your best behavior. Oh, these are New Emotions. Oh, yes. I, I'm so happy. Yes, this happiness fills me so much and so on. Welcome, and don't cause any trouble. Ah, uh, hi, Riley. I'm, I'm your Joy. I'm so happy to see you. Wow, we've known each other this whole time? You've never seen me and probably don't know me, but I've known you literally since birth. I, I was your first emotion. You're actually my joy? So there are other emotions like me? Little people like you? Bingo, sweetie. You're very, very smart. I'm sure others will love you too. There are others? Really? You're not joking? Get up, insect. You have the most pathetic attitude to be the emotion of joy. Why envy? Everyone is a disaster because of me. I deserve to feel that way. But we can still do our jobs properly. And despite your insignificant participation, you are still important. Yes, I will do it after I vent maybe a couple of hours. Oh, how glad I am to see you, my lovely emotions. My Riley rescue team, ha ha. Sadness, as always, with a gloomy face. Keep it up. Anger, looks like you're about to explode, big guy. Disgust, you don't like broccoli, do you? And of course, fear. And here's our beloved anxiety. How are you doing, sweetie? 
Everything is just wonderful. Thank you for asking. Shame and teeny tiny envy. You're such a cute pair. And finally, but certainly not least, boredom. Or should I say melancholy? If they are my emotions, how are they outside of me? That's just impossible, right? This is what happens when you have an open mind too. I knew that paying attention to the nonsense of people we don't even care about would get us into trouble. We didn't even tell him to go to faxing Blech. Someone needed to help Joy, but the way you did it was great, and you are super adorable, especially because of your hair. If I knew you bootlicking insect, I'm the best. Bootlicker. I like that nickname. Hey, Anxiety. What happened? Why, why are you, why, why are you crying? Are you having any trouble with work? Oh, Joy, I'm so sad. I, I just can't. I, I don't think I can handle all this. It's so hard. What happened, sweetie? Maybe I can help you? I, I don't want you to be sad. Tell me, how can I help? Haha, -ha, I feel so bad, Joy. I made such a mess. I, I was supposed to clean up, but instead I just made everything worse. Oh no, Joy, I'm so sorry. I made a huge mess. I was trying to clean up, but I just made everything worse. No, no, don't worry so much about the mess. You're a great worker and I'm really proud of you. But, but I can see that something is really bothering you. Anxiety, what's wrong? Why can't you share with me? I, I really want to help. We're friends, aren't we? Ah, uh, Joy, it's, it's so hard to explain my, my feelings. Hmm. Uh, you know, um, things, things that, um... I, I don't want to pressure you, but it's really important to me that you share your, um, worries with me. I would, I could help you. What, you don't believe me? Joy, do you really think that about me? Ugh, you want me to open up to you and tell you everything I'm thinking? That's so hard. I'm just trying to plan, trying to plan typical things for me. It's pretty hard, I, I'm trying to explain, but I'm not very good at it. Anxiety, I, I would like. I know, I shouldn't think about the future so much, but I just, I, I can't stop. It's, it's really hard. What if something goes wrong? If I mess up again, Riley might get hurt or have a bad experience. I, I just can't do it. What if everything goes wrong and I, I can't do anything about it. I'll ruin everything. I, I have to be ready. I need to become stronger, better, to protect joy. This is literally my only job. I, I have to succeed. I need to become so much better so that joy will be proud of me. What if I make a mistake? What if everyone gets mad at me? What if I'm useless and can't help my friends, can't help joy? What if I... Anxiety, I, I don't want you to say that. You're wrong. I, I want to explain something to you so you can understand. You always do an excellent job. Even if you've never done something like this before, you adapt quickly and are always open to new experiences. I'm so proud of you. You're, you're a great worker. So the least you can do is stop calling yourself useless. You, you're very useful, okay? I, I'm really worried about you, but I, I don't want to stay so weak, so worthless. Listen to me carefully, Anxiety. I, I want to tell you something important. Even if you forget something, darling, or if you make a mistake, nobody will be mad at you for it. I want you to understand that and always know that we'll support you. I could never be mad at you because I've always believed in you, in your abilities. I, I don't know. I'm so happy, Joy. I love you. Thank you for your support, darling. I want you to know this, Anxiety. I would never get mad at you because I appreciate you so much. I, I don't know what to say. I'm so grateful. And if something goes wrong, if you can't do something, or if you're upset, we can always fix this together. I, I can always help you. I'll always support you. I, I respect you so much. Okay, I really want to help you. I want to be useful to you. All you have to do is ask for help. Uh, Joy, you, you're so sweet. I, I'm speechless. I, I, it's really hard for me to express my feelings, but I wanted to tell you. Thank you for your support, Joy. You, you're the best leader. I don't deserve you. And you're just a great friend. I, I'm really grateful for everything you do. Don't worry about it. Everything will be okay. We are friends and that won't change anything. So don't worry that I will treat you worse. 
Now, my dear, let's tidy up here quickly. We need to keep our workspace clean. Oh, yeah. I think I made quite a mess. Sorry about that. Let's clean up.